Hello scientific audience, in this video we will measure the focal length of the concave lens using a convex lens. For this experiment we require following things. We will measure the rough focal length of a convex lens by placing it in front of the screen. The sharp image of the distance object here AC vents outside the window is obtained on the screen as shown. The distance between the screen where the sharp image is obtained and the lens is the focal length which is approximately 18 centimeters. Now on the optical bench let's keep the object pin at 0 centimeter mark, convex lens at 2f that is 36 centimeter mark and the image pin at, at 72 centimeter mark. Now we will remove the parallax error by slightly moving the image pin. Parallax error is completely removed as both the object pin and the image pin are moving together. Place the concave lens slightly near the image pin. The image pin will now behave as an object for our concave lens. Now obtain the inverted image of the object pin on the image pin and remove the parallax error. You can very well see that the parallax error has been removed. Now let's note down the readings and go for the calculations. Okay, so now let's understand how will we find the focal length of the concave lens using the uh, lens formula which is 1 upon f that is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. So this is our object pin guys. This is object pin and this is our convex lens and this is our image pin. Right? Why do we use image pin? That I will let you know shortly. Okay, so below I have used a ray diagram to explain you what are we doing over here. So over here we have an object pin, right? Now these two rays are going to come out from the object pin. They will pass through the convex lens. Since convex lens is a converging lens, these two rays will finally meet over here. So you will get a real and inverted image of this object pin. So just let me write down image of object pin and since it is in the air right we can see through the lens from this side if you place your eye but how will you measure this image distance that's why we have placed an image pin at the bottom you can see that this is your image pin this at the top is an image pin and we have placed it exactly below the image pin and then we have removed the parallax error. If you do so, then the distance from the lens to the image of the object pin and the distance from the lens to the image pin will be the same. Okay. Now, once we have done that, right, we have already noted the position. This was at 0 centimeter mark. Uh, I am talking about the object pin. Then the convex lens was at 36 centimeter mark and this was at 70.5 centimeter mark, the image pin. Correct. Now what is going to happen guys, if we place a concave lens in between like this. Correct. Now the concave lens is a converging lens. So what's going to happen that these two rays will be further diverged and they will meet somewhere behind they were actually meeting. So, since these two rays were diverging, oh, let me remove this I part. Now, it is not required. So, let me remove this part now. Yeah. So, the diverging lens is going to further diverge the rays beyond this point and finally, they are going to meet over here. Correct. Now, in this case, what is the object for the concave lens? 
for the concave lens these two incident rays red color incident rays appear to be coming from this image pin it appears to be coming from this image pin so this image pin behaves like an object for whom for the concave lens and the distance and we have placed this concave lens at uh, 64 centimeter mark so that means this distance will be referred as u it's a virtual object guys virtual object are you know the rays they appear to be coming from the virtual object they don't actually come from the uh, virtual object and these two are converging rays so converging rays when extended behind you will get the virtual object so this image pin itself will behave as a virtual object for the concave lens and finally you will get a image which is at this particular point i am going to call this this point as o correct and once again i will have to move i will have to move because i will get an again the final image shifted behind now guys you would be astonished a little bit that this is again a real image why because the rays are actually meeting you see that these two black color rays are actually meeting so in case of concave lens if the object is virtual image can be real right so now again to match to find the distance between the final image and the concave lens this this distance v again i have to shift this image pin backwards and i have to remove the parallax error and this is what i have done previously and this is what i am going to do it right now also so that means i am going to remove parallax error and i am going to place this image pin over here and this gap which i this distance which i received was 76.5 cm so the distance from here to here will be v so let me write down this formula again 1 upon f is 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now u in this case is the distance between 64 and 75 sorry 70.5 so it is plus 6.5 centimeters and for the virtual object u is positive now what is v the final image for the concave lens that is the gap between 64 and 76.5 so that is plus 12.5 centimeters since it is a real image it is formed behind the lens so this is real image and i'm going to use these two numbers to find f your f must come negative guys so 1 upon f is 1 upon 12.5 minus 1 upon 6.5 now if i use if I do the calculation, this is 6.5 minus 12.5 upon 12.5 multiplied by 6.5. So if I solve this, I was getting this answer as minus negative of 13.5 centimeters. Right? If you solve this, you will get your answer. The actual focal length was at 15 centimeters. But now, due to some of the errors, and errors are always allowed in the experiment. So I got this answer and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this experiment. Please uh, do ask your doubts if you have in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching the video.